Hello, I'm Ines, business developer for cardiovascular applications in hospitals. Today, I will show you how to easily use the Heart tool in Materialize Mimics imprint. The Heart tool is a semi-automatic and user-friendly tool that guides you through a number of smaller steps to easily create regions of interest of the main structures of the heart, the atria, the ventricles, and the greater vessels. In this video, I will guide you through the different steps needed to segment a double outlet right ventricle. We will only cover the segmentation step. You can check our video on how to create a 3D printed heart model to learn the full workflow. We will now click on the heart tool, which can be found within the create ROI step of the workflow. The first step is to indicate the regions of the heart. As you can see, the right atrium box is highlighted. This means that we can indicate it in any of the 2D views. We can choose to place one point or up to four points. I'm going to place one point for the right atrium by left clicking on it in the actual view, for example. After placing the point, the box of the left atrium will be highlighted. I will then place a point in the left atrium. Now, the left ventricle box is highlighted. As you can see, I will now follow the same principle up to the pulmonary artery. If we would need to place other points for the same structure, make sure that the box of that structure is the one which is highlighted. Let me show you an example. If I want to place another point for the right ventricle, I will need to click on the right ventricle box and place the second point. Imagine I make a mistake while placing a point. To remove it, simply click on the point in the box, for example the left ventricle, right click and choose remove. To place the new point, click on top of the left ventricle box and place the point. We have now identified the six structures of the heart. You may notice that after the first step, a red box can be seen in the views. That box can be adjusted to select only the region of interest, in this case the heart. You can adjust it by dragging the sides of the box. I will now scroll through the images to be sure I didn't miss any crucial parts of the heart. Next, we will set up a threshold range to only capture the pixels of the images that correspond to the blood volume. We can drag the lower and upper bar like this. We will immediately see the results in the images and the 3D preview. This preview is not yet a 3D model. You can also fill in the threshold values below. Finally, we can apply the tool and let the software calculate the regions of interest. After the calculation is done, we can check the segmentation results. Use the 2D images and the 3D preview to check whether changes are needed.
If this is the case, we can repeat any of the previous steps. We can change the points we used to indicate the regions, the bounding box, or the threshold range. In this case, the segmentation was performed correctly. Then, we need to click the green check to apply the tool. We can now see seven ROIs that include a full blood volume and the six separate heart structures. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to easily use the heart tool in Mimix Inprint. If you have any questions, please contact your local support person or contact us via our website. Wow.